right. Fred and Bartlett uh, on Waddle's Demand. Yeah. You're on ESPN 1000. Hey, Freddie. Hey, guys. Love the show. Thank you. Hey, I just wanted to be, uh, you know, a lone siren in the sea of uh, negativity about a little bit of positivity here. The Bulls are, have the seventh best record in the NBA. Do you know what their record is against the six teams ahead of them? Uh, seven and one. Seven and one. They beat the Cavs, the Raptors twice, the Thunder twice, the Spurs once, the Clippers once. They only lost to Golden State. So if they somehow win tonight, they'll be eight and one against the teams ahead of them. They're nine and two without Noah, and yet all you hear is the sky's falling. And this team is pathetic, and they haven't done enough to win. You're in the conference with LeBron James for the last five years. I think they've done one hell of a job to get in position here. It seems like, in general, the fan base is harder on Bulls and their management team than any other team in the city. And frankly, I don't get it. I mean, we've been missing Dunleavy. With, last year, with, with the greatest regular season coach of all time, we were 9-10 and 10 without Dunleavy. We haven't had him all year. And I know everybody's going to say, well, he's a role player. Yeah, he's a very important role player on a team that sorely needs outside shooting. So, you know, look where we're at right now. Seventh best record in, overall in the NBA, third best in the conference. And yet we're acting like this team sucks. Come on, man. It's not. I Get mean, up. Stand up, Fred! <laughs> Fred, do you hey! think, do they have a legitimate shot to win the East? Come on now. Absolutely. Hey! Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, wait, let me just say something. Did do we forget it was a LeBron James Miracle 3 last year that w it, it took that LeBron James Miracle 3 otherwise we would have been up 3-1 on the Cavs and we would have lost 4-3 look they we blew lost, we, they, was, for, Gasol is, is he not one of our top 3 players he missed basically 4 games of that series so did Kyrie Irving and, and uh Kevin Love. I mean, understood. Fred, understood. Fred, Fred, look, they blew an 11 point lead in that game. That wasn't a miraculous finish by LeBron. The Bulls had that game and, hey! they, and they choked it away on their home floor. Without Gasol. Yes, without Gasol. Gasol's the engine that makes the offense run. He's the, one of the best big, uh, shooting bigs in the NBA. Without him, there are no lanes for Rose and Butler to work. And when he's out, the team, that, that's why the Bulls are 9-2 and two without Noah and, and 15-14 and 14 with him. The guy can't shoot anymore outside. Of, he shot 38% as a big man, can't shoot outside of 8 feet. Um, and so when if you watch the game, when, when, when Noah's out there, his big man's standing right next to the rim. When Gasol's out there, his big man's out at the free throw line. From the hills of Spain. <laughs> oh, gosh. He's a seven-footer. He's been in the league about 38 years, and he's still a dynamite big man. And, uh, Guys, did you see the last game against Detroit? Did you see the last game against Detroit? Introduce, introduce Fred as like the last player to be introduced. <laughs> and now from Bartlett, he's got his Bulls footy pajamas on and the rose-colored sunglasses. He wants to know why this team is not currently undefeated. They're on their way to go on 82 and 0. Fred Bartlett! Yeah, Fred! Woo! Fred, thank you. Thanks, Fred. We appreciate it. Good stuff. Guys. The Good truth day. is, really, I'm.